right, hello everybody. I am back for the third installment of this video series that I never intended to start. <laughs> Sorry about the shaking there. I went, decided I better plug my phone in so the battery doesn't run out. And I tried to raise it up a little bit so that, um, you know, I'm not just all hands in here. <laughs> um, so yeah, yesterday, uh, after I shut the camera off, I went and cut, I had some done already, um, but I finished pulling pages, cutting them to size, folding them, and then I added some uh, trims onto the edges with my sewing machine, because as I said, that's a lot easier to do when the pages are not in the book. Um, so we're going to pick up where we left off with uh, this piece, which is now completely dry. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go in and poke those holes like I talked about yesterday. If, if you're not familiar, if this is your first time here and you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, like I said, this is part three. I will try to remember to link the other parts below uh, so you can catch up and see where I'm at. So, you can see I'm poking holes all the way through the fabric, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I, uh, I thought I would get in here right away this morning, and I was like, I was talking to my husband this morning, I'm like, I think I'm going to be able to finish that journal tomorrow or today and um, well here it is almost noon and I'm just getting around to coming in here so <laughs> good chance I'm not finishing this journal today but the adulting has taken over my day so whatever it's all good there's a lot of stuff going on right now that's like I mean it's just stuff everybody deals with but uh, yeah, it's all, it's all like happening right now. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I got those holes cut, punched, whatever. Now in my pages, I'm going to take, open them up to the middle of the signature and make sure that everything is where I want it to be. Like, like this, you know, I want to make sure this is somewhat in the middle. I don't want it down here or up here. I mean, you can do them that way, but that's not where I want mine. So I was making sure that things are centered the way they should be. And then um, this is that same guide that I used to make the spacing of the holes in here. And this is where it's important to pay attention to your top and bottom. So... I have marked the top here. This is the top here. So I'm going to make sure that the top goes to the top of my signature pages. And then I'm just going to go in and make holes where the hole guides tell me to. And actually I have a tool. I'll use it a lot for this. I probably should really um yeah but I use it more when I make my canvas journals but it'd be a good spot for me to push down into okay so those are done might just put a little clip on here hold them in place <clears throat> go through and do all three signatures. Make sure they're all how I want them. started and <clears throat> then there we go so 
I posted a, a post on Instagram this morning uh, about the breakdown of Etsy fees and I've had a ton of comments on that and so I was part of what I was busy with this morning was answering those. And I'm definitely thinking about leaving Etsy. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I, I thought about this last year, uh, I think about the same time and ultimately decided now I would stick with them, but uh, the fees keep going up and um, you know, this, this post that I made on Instagram, by the time all was said and done, they've taken over 25% of my sales. And that's a pretty high percentage. Now, I appreciate what they do for me as far as like handling sh uh, shipping calculations and all that. But I'm not even really using Etsy traffic. I mean, 90%, if not more, of my sales come directly from my Instagram followers. So I think it's time for me to take the leap and create a website. Um, but I have to figure out a lot of things. That's a lot of technical skills for Ricky. <laughs> and uh, I'm not, not really looking forward to that. All right, so this is my back page. And I am going to go ahead and stitch this on here, on this row. Now I just use, let me stick this in here so it doesn't slide around. I use a three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, if you don't know what that is, I will demonstrate it. But if you want to reference it, just Google three hole pamphlet stitch and um, you will find all kinds of diagrams. This is a waxed book binding thread. I will use three times the length of the pages approximately. That gives me a nice amount of um, extra. And this is a book binding needle. I did go ahead and put an affiliate link uh, to a book binding kit that I purchased on Amazon and it has it has this it has the thread it has the needles it has bone folder I mean it has everything you really need um, and it's like ten dollars so that's in the comments or the the down below the basement as birdie the recycled hippie chip calls it allergies are crazy today Okay, <clears throat> so for me, if I want the thread to show in the center, which I like, um, I'm going to start in the center going in, and then I'm going to go over here to my center of my spine board thingy. That's really the technical term for it. And then I'm going to go to the top hole. And then I'm going to go to the top hole in here. Okay. So. There we go. Then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. In the bottom hole. Pull that through. And then I'm going to come up in the center. And this can get a little tricky sometimes. But, okay, now where I'm coming up, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm on the same side of this center string as here. And I don't want that. I, I like to do one string on each side of the center string. Hopefully that makes sense. So then I just take my needle off. And then what I do is I make sure it's tight, but you don't want it so tight that it binds the paper or anything, but snug. And I just tie a knot one direction and then 
the other direction. I think they call that a square knot. And then I just do one more for good measure. Okay, I leave these because sometimes I will put like a little charm or something here. This hangs out the end of the book or the top of the book, or you can, you know, move them however. Um, but also I figure whoever gets the journal, if they don't like it, they can trim it, but um, they can also add stuff if they like. So it just leaves things optional for people. Okay, so there, that's our back signature. So next I'm gonna do the middle signature. Again, I'm gonna measure three times the page. My thread. I'm gonna grab that middle signature and open it up to the center needle in the center and the center hole and then again go to the top it gets a little fussy fussy putsy I don't know what the right word is but lining up the holes can be challenging sometimes that wasn't too bad. That was pretty good, actually. And into the center. Boom. That one went smooth. Very nice. All right. Snug it up. Make sure it's snug on the back. It is. Tie our knots. Let's see. I just have to figure out how to tie it backwards because, you know, that's not my habit. <laughs> okay, that one's done. And now our last signature. Whoops, let me thread my needle again. One, two, three. You can get that thread in all different colors. I do use brown a lot, but I have other colors. All right, last but not least, where's my center? Here we go. In through the center. This one got a little off center on that front page, but I think it'll be okay. <clears throat> Just the angle that I poked the all through at made it a little bit wonky but that's the beauty of junk journals. They are a little bit wonky, right? They are what they are. I got some extra thread in there, so make sure that's pulled through. I apologize if, if I'm not showing the exact angle because Sometimes just getting it through there is a challenge, <laughs> let alone doing it at a correct angle. So, one, two, three. All right. There we are. We are bound. See that? Now, so cute. I'm loving this journal. Okay my needle over here so I don't lose it. Now, I would say this is probably the trickiest part of um, binding a journal and often takes me the longest. So, 
bear with me here. Um, I need to get, I need to get some plastic. I should have thought of that beforehand. I apologize. But luckily I know where it is. And I'm going to use this piece of tag board. So I just use these, um, they're like page protector pocket things that I've cut apart. And so, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put glue on here and we're going to glue it down to the book. Now, when we do that, we really need to make sure that we have things lined up the way we want. Actually, let me grab, this is totally optional, this, uh, this is, oh, what is it called? It's called a headband, I think, but I wanna add this. It just uh, adds a little finishing to, the top and bottom of the book. Um, I've made a lot without it, but I have it, so I might as well use it. I bought that on Amazon, but I'm not super thrilled with it, so I'm not going to link it. Um, I've seen is it Nick the Booksmith that makes her own? Um, I like the way that looks better. And I think when this is gone, I'll probably do that. So, like I said, this is not a necessary step. We gonna fight today, glue bottle? You've been doing so good. Let's not fight. Okay, I want this to be the top. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. All right. So I'm just going to glue that on there. And it just, uh, just creates a little, a little, well, a headband there. All right. I'm going to do one on the bottom. just kind of goes over that tag board and hides it. Makes it a little more attractive, I think. A little bit. Let's see. Let's see how that's going to look in there. Okay. So. Yeah. That works. It does, it does. I'm gonna scooch it down just a hair. Make sure it's still good on the bottom. It is. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna keep that lined up. And I'm going to put this plastic here. And I'm putting the tag board underneath. And I think you'll see why in a minute. Just making sure that all stays the way it needs to. I'm gonna get my paintbrush again. And my glue. Now you don't wanna be shy with the glue here, but you also don't want it to be gloppy, so. Fine line between good enough and gloppy. <laughs> Those are official bookbinding terms for sure. 
So you also want to make sure you're getting all the way to the edge on both edges because this is really what's holding your whole signature in to the book. I feel like I could use just a little bit more. And like I said before, this glue is really strong, so it is linked below in my affiliate links which if you don't know what affiliate links are, it's like, it's a link to Amazon and it doesn't cost you anything, but if you click through that link and purchase it, I get a teeny tiny amount of it, which just helps me buy more art supplies and keep creating content. So thinking of that, I always forget to say to, Hit the like button if you like this and subscribe and leave me a comment if you're so inclined. All those lovely things. Okay. Now I make sure I don't move it from where I had it before. I am going to lay that fabric down. And that's why I use the this for is just to kind of give it a little spread. Okay, now, normally, <laughs> I have a little credit card sitting here. Of course, it has gone missing. Okay, normally I have about five of them sitting here. Seriously? Oh, my Lanta. All right, that's fine, this is fine. I know that there's one on the floor right now, but I can't reach it. So I'm just going to use that real quick because I just want to make sure that there's no wrinkles there. And then also I want to make sure I get down in this groove. Of course we're going to leave some marks behind using that. I don't know why. Alright, bear with me just a second. I'm going to the floor where I know the credit card is. Did we get the card? I guess it is. Michaels, imagine that. All right. Yeah, it didn't like that, did it? See how much wrinkling I have in there? Well, that's life. That is life. Okay. But we do have good, strong adhesion. So that's awesome. All right. Now, ta -da. that side is done, and I'm just going to put, where's the other one of these? This one has glue on it, so I don't want to use it, but I sincerely thought I had three of these sitting here. That's all right. We'll just use this one. So I'm just going to put that there while I work on the other side because I don't want that glue to stick to this page. <clears throat> All right. And we're going to come over here and do the same thing. I guess we'll just use this. Preferably with less chaos. Like I said, this, this, is, definitely, this is definitely a part where I have cringed to whoops not want to film because it is not usually very eloquent <laughs> and I have done so many of these and I just have not found a more eloquent way to do it that I'm happy with as far as strength goes <clears throat> so you get what you get uh, I love you guys for hanging with me, being my people. I'm sure there are many people out there who have better ways of doing this that are more eloquent. And if they watch me, they will laugh, but I'm okay with that because the world needs more laughter. 
so it's all good. All right. Here we go. Just a little bit. There we go. So again, just gonna make sure that's all flattened out and held in there nice and strong. That side went a little better. Here is that piece of plastic I was looking for. Oh, that feels like it's got a little glue on it. I don't know what's over there. This channel could be called the Hot Mess Express. I don't know what that is. All right, well, oh, maybe that, no, this is the one that had the glue on it. I don't know. I am really just talking to myself at this point, but, you know, I told you guys I would do this, and doing it I am. So, here we go. All right, that's in. This side, is it still looking good? It is. It is. All right. So, you can see it's all together now, and we're going to let that dry. Um... Sometimes I let it dry overnight, which is really not necessary, but I do want to let it dry um, probably an hour anyway before I really mess with it because uh, just to make sure that everything is dry and I don't accidentally cause it to slip. So, so that's it for this installment. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching the Hot Mess Express. You guys are amazing, and I'll catch you next time.